Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to the program. Today, we are going to work on pixel paint again, uh, because it was so much fun yesterday. And I have a whole bunch of things I want to do today as well. Um, and let me show you what I have in mind. So uh, the first thing is that we have image rotation and image flip vertical horizontal, but these features don't exist uh, at a layer level. So you can only rotate and flip the whole image, including all layers. But if you only want to rotate a single layer, you are out of luck. So I really want to add that. Uh, and then image rotation um, is a little bit janky. So as you can see, it's it works to rotate. But uh, if you try to undo, for example, something really weird happens, it, it goes into this state, which doesn't seem very good. Um, and you can keep undoing, but it, it doesn't get much better. So we definitely need to fix whatever that is. And I also uh, noticed this weird behavior that uh, after you rotate, then uh, the image is sort of off center. And then if you resize the window, then the the image snaps into place, which is really strange. So um, <laughs> there's a whole whole bunch of little issues here to fix. Um, but once we can get those fixed, I want to do um, layer rotation and layer flips. So layer transformations, I guess, because all of our layer functionality right now is like um, relating to the layer stack. So like which things are above which other things, stuff like that. Um, so let's uh, dig into this. So the first issue I guess we should look at is the undo issue. So uh, if you undo, then the image does not have, uh, it, it doesn't seem to um, undo the size change that happened due to a rotation. So um, when we undo, we make an image undo command. And when you undo one of those, then we call image restore snapshot, right? Because the whole undo system in pixel paint is snapshot based. So um, with each level of undo, we just store a snapshot of the whole image at that point in time. So restore snapshot here, uh, essentially removes all the layers from the image currently, and then just yoinks them in, uh, copies them from the snapshot, I guess. Um, so I bet you that we need to set size or rect or something like that here. Um, M size. Okay, so can we set M size? Right, okay, so when we rotate an image, we set the size of the image to um, to the rotated size, which makes sense because you're rotating counterclockwise or clockwise. So you're just swapping the width and the height. But I guess we are not updating the size when we restore a snapshot. I guess we also need to call did change rect. So let's see. Mm. So maybe we can just do something like M size is, um, or let's see, let's do it here at the end. Snapshot dot size, and then did change rect. Okay. Um, let's see if that fixes the uh, rotation issue. Because I, I feel like it's going to be this because it's kind of an obvious problem if we're not restoring the, um, the size of the image. So here we can rotate. And then we can undo. And yeah, see now it works. So um, wait, Oh, shoot, rotation, ro the um, rotation action does not create an undo command. 
oops yeah okay <laughs> we need to fix that as well so let's see i guess we can do this this thing first so this was really straightforward we'll just say um, pixel paint restore image size when image size from snapshot this will make um, undoing a resize um, or rotate operation actually restore the size of the image as well. Okay, but first we have to, or now we have to go and create, um, we have to create snapshots for these things. So where are we creating these? What's the API for rotation? Image rotate, which is used in main widget here. So these are going to be the, yeah, these are the rotate counterclockwise and clockwise actions. So I think after we perform a rotate action, we just need to say did complete action rotate counterclockwise. Yeah, we're just missing these. And actually it seems like there are more things missing, like here's a resize image. So let's just add that one as well. Oops. Crop to selection. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> do these. Crop to selection. Should that be crop to selection like that? Isn't that what we normally do? Like sort of like book title case? Hmm. Do we have an example somewhere? Yeah, right. View as like, um, because it's a two letter word. I think, um, typically we have something like if a word is four or fewer letters and it's not like a high, uh, high importance word to give context, but it's more like a glue word, like two, then, uh, we don't capitalize it. So let's fix that. Okay, and then new layer. Yeah, I think somebody added this yesterday. Like, um, yeah, very cool from uh, Roberto, who made a new layer create an undo undoable action. So that's very, very good. Uh, now we're just going to do a few more. And I forgot the string view suffix. Let's do that. Okay, flip horizontally. Yeah, we're going to want those as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe those are enough. Okay. Pixel paint. Create, uh, undo items uh, for more um, image for more editing actions. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so let's see if this works now. I feel like it should. Okay, so we, wait, what's the, <laughs> control shift, um, greater than, okay, undo rotate clockwise. Okay, that's really snappy. Very, very cool. Okay, but the, it's off center, so I want to fix that as well, because if you resize, then it snaps to the center which is really weird. And I don't understand why that's happening. So let's see. Um, resize. No. Wait, what? Let's see. So I assume it's when we set the original rect. Image did change rect. 
Right, so we get notified that the image has changed it, its rect somehow. Um, and then we call set original rect, which is on abstract zoom pan widget, one of our fancy GUI widgets that provides this um, like zoomable and panable view that we have. Um, but I guess it's really just setting this thing, it, and it doesn't actually update the UI or anything. And then we also call cont set content rect, which doesn't update. But does this thing react to resize? Yes, it does. Okay, so it does a relay out on resize. I think we need to do the same thing. Basically, we need to need to also relay out um, here. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. And let's see if that works. Because I want it to sort of rotate. When you, we rotate the image, I want it to relay out and recenter the UI immediately. So if I do that, yeah, see. So now it like snaps to the center right away. Um, and when I go back and forth, yeah, exactly. Much, much nicer. And then you don't get this jarring effect of like snapping into place on the next time that you resize. Pixel paint. Relay out image editor um, immediately when image rect changes. Otherwise, uh, we'll do it. Um, or this avoids a jarring um, effect where we snap the image into um, into place upon the next resize event. Yes, this is better. Okay, so um, the original thing I wanted to do was layer rotation. So let's go ahead and I guess add some actions for that. So right now we have uh, rotate. Yeah, we have these rotate and flip actions in the image menu. So let's go ahead and put the same type of stuff into the layer menu. Um, the layer menu, by the way, is already pretty huge. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. And I guess we can fit some more stuff. Um, maybe I was thinking, where should we put it? Part of me is thinking we can put it into like a, a transform submenu. But uh, it is nice to have everything visible. Yeah, maybe, maybe we don't need the submenu just yet. Let's see. So let's put it um, at the very bottom, let's say. It's probably a better way to organize this, but we're not going to get into menu organization right this very moment. So let's just say layer menu, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and let's put a separator before these things. OK. So now, instead of doing a flip on the image, can we get the current layer or the active layer? Let's see. Um, active layer is editor active layer. OK. So if we don't have an active layer, I guess we should just ignore it. For now, let's say, and then active layer. Is there a flip? There is a flip. OK. <laughs> that is very convenient for us right now. So let's see. Flip. Um, we should probably call these flip layer vertically. Yeah. Shoot. That makes me think I should have um, rotate. Yeah, we should have called these like rotate image. So let's let's make sure we call them that right away. Oh wait, those are the wrong ones. 
here. No, no, not these. Dang it. Here we are. Yeah, let's just add the image qualifier here so that it's not ambiguous with the new ones that we're about to add. Mm, wait, was that in the pixel? Uh, let me see. Let me go ahead and just fix that up. Okay, here we are. So, rotate layer counterclockwise. Cool. So, I wonder if it will be enough to just flip them like this. Maybe this will just work. So, by the way, why does layer have flip if we, if we don't have UI for this? Making, making me wonder what's up with that. Oh, I see. So image flip calls layer flip on all the layers. That's funny. So I guess rotate is the same. Yeah, exactly. So we already had this functionality here. All we have to do is just um, expose it through an API. By the way, when you rotate a layer, the layer rect changes, presumably. Uh, layer size. Oh, but the size is derived from the bitmap. OK, well, that's uh, perfectly fine. So tap, 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 backing up. All right. So I feel like this should kind of just work. Um, active layer. OK, can we do just like that? Clook. Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice if this just worked? OK, so let's make a new layer. We'll make it 100. Oh my goodness, editing this text box was not working <laughs> the way I thought it would. Oh, what on earth? It's so weird. It doesn't feel right to edit in these at all. It's like, I'm not typing that. What the frick? Ah! <laughs> OK, these need work. Um, uh, hello, I'm trying to type 200 by 100, and it's just geeking out on me like crazy. OK, um, let's put some red in that thing. And then, hmm. Oh, there's a, like an irritating little uh, glitch there where I guess at zoom levels that aren't perfectly uh, round or whatever, we get like a little space between the layer outline and layer contents. That doesn't look very good. But let's not get sidetracked by that. So, ignoring that, see if we can rotate this puppy. So, oh shoot, we're going to have to not have the same shortcuts, obviously. But look, the layer rotated and the image did not, and we can undo it. That's super cool. All right, and then let's see if we can flip the layer as well. I don't see why it shouldn't work, but let's... Uh, Cool. Flip layer vertically. That is super awesome. OK. So really gaining some good functionality here. Um, but the keyboard shortcuts are um, overloaded with the image rotation ones. So make, let's see. It's because we have these system-wide things. Um, 
So we have a system-wide shortcut for rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, I wonder what is the solution to this? I guess we could override the shortcut. Can we do that? Does action have an API for setting the shortcut? Set. No, there isn't. Right, because I think, hmm. Okay, I think maybe we're going to take the um, copy pasta away out of this for now. So we will just construct our own actions and um, that'll be that'll be okay because they are fundamentally two different actions. Obviously, like um, rotating the image and, and the layer, so we don't want to have a shared shortcut. Um, rotate layer clockwise action. Or maybe I don't need to store that in a temporary, actually. I don't know why I think I did. Let's see, like that. Oh, I already had that. And then I don't want the default shortcut. Yeah, and that's a CCW, I guess. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if the menu item should say rotate layer clockwise and layer counterclockwise or if it's okay that layer like we're in the layer context here um oh, oh they shouldn't have the same text um hmm yeah no let's let's go ahead and uh, say layer in these just so that it's abundantly clear what's being rotated so um, counterclockwise. Okay. Did I just mix those up? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, uh -huh. actually, yeah, there's, there's a good reason for this, which is that, um, if you are accessing the um, command palette to, to get to these actions. So, um, if you, if you're bringing this up and then you're searching for like rotate, then rotate layer counterclockwise. Oh, but it says layer here because it's from the layer menu. Um, wait. I am just making a mess of this. Wow. Serious editing mishaps happening here. Clock. This is the counterclockwise action. What is wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> counterclockwise. Okay, okay, okay. And then this one is the clockwise action. Okay, I'm sorry <laughs> if you were screaming at your YouTube device um, about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that didn't that didn't go well. Um, but I, I think it's still it still makes sense to me to have that explicit scope part of the action title or the action name, um, just like we already do for other layer actions, right? Because we have you know, select previous layer, select next layer, move active layer up and down, stuff like that. Um, it will be, wait, did I still not get it right? What on earth? Oh. <laughs> Why is it so hard to, to get these strings right? 
Okay. Counterwise. <sighs> okay. Uh, I think I need to. Um, I, I need to have my head inspected or something. All right. All right. Uh, I don't see anything wrong now. Clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. <laughs> Counterclockwise. The hardest words in the world. Okay. So, but let's also make sure that we call these flip layer vertically and flip layer horizontally. Can we please see it looking right? But yeah, I think these these are nice, nicer sounding now. All right, for the love of goodness, here we are. Yes, that does look right. And if we bring this thing up, flip, flip layer. Maybe these should be called flip image now. Actually, that seems right. Yeah, so let's let's add these first and then let's update the names of the image ones. Pixel paint, add UI, uh, add menu actions, add actions for flipping uh, and rotating an individual layer. Yes, kick ass functionality. Flip. Uh, vertically, so this one is going to be flip image vertically and flip image horizontally. And then we have the same problem again with the clockwise counterclockwise that the text is hard coded. Dang it. Okay. We don't have a way to provide an override text. Can you call set text? You can call set text on an action. But frick. All right, all right. Um I think we're we're going to take the copy pasta way out of this one here as well. So, let's do that. And now let's try not to screw up clockwise counterclockwise for 10 minutes. Um so, wait, no. <laughs> I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Image menu, add action. Okay, here we are. So we're doing counterclockwise. So we'll take this right here. I'm gonna try not to mess this up. Come on now, Andreas. It's not that hard. Kluk. All right. So rotate image. Okay, and then let's get this one as well. The clockwise, also known as counterwise. Okay, rotate image counterwise. All right. I wouldn't mess that up. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a little unfortunate that um, that we're not using the global shortcut helper maker thingy, but at the same time, since we have to, we have different types of rotate actions. Okay, what on earth? How did I mess this up? Why didn't I stick around to see the crash trace? Oh, because it says layer menu right here. All right. <laughs> Repetitive editing is like an underrated adversary <laughs> for every programmer. Um, okay, so those looking good. These looking good too. Yeah, I like it. Okay, actually, this one should probably be crop image to selection. Now that we, now that we're looking at it, let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay. Um, this am 
pq8 layer yes image uh, actions in their names uh, instead of saying uh, rotate or like flip horizontally instead of having in both the image and layer menus um, we now have flip image horizontally and flip layer horizontally. Um, this same concept applied to, and the same concept applied to, um, ah, um, other similar actions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So I think this is going to be the end of today's video. So we fixed a bunch of bugs, improving uh, the resize um, and ro rotate behavior for images. And then we also added layer level um, versions of the same functionality. So very, very cool. Yeah, these look good. Look very good. So, wait a minute. Are those the wrong icons? That's cat. <laughs> I messed up the icons. <laughs> Come on. Clockwise is the counterclockwise icon. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's um, <clears throat> try to compose ourselves. But uh, what the heck? <sighs> okay. So if you were astute enough to have also noticed that the icon was wrong, I congratulate you on your eagle eyes. Um, all right. Now things are looking finally the way that they're supposed to. <laughs> okay. So let me go ahead and fix that up. So that would be the layer rotate. Um, I forgot where that goes. Here. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be the end of today's video. So if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching. And I apologize once again for the uh, counterwise confusion. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. I think it's very enjoyable to work on Pixel Paint uh, right now. So um, maybe we'll do even more of that. <laughs> but uh, I will see you next time. Bye.